Welcome back to 12 Day Health. I'm Dr. Derek De Silva. Every year, millions of people suffering from an injury or chronic pain consider surgery to find relief. While there's a time and place for surgery, there's another treatment that's helping people avoid surgery by maximizing their healing potential. It's called stem cell grafting. And here to show us how it works is Dr. Edward Magaziner, a specialist in interventional pain management. Thank you for joining me, Dr. Magaziner. Hi, Dr. Selma. It's a pleasure to be here. Thank you very much. So what is stem cell grafting? Well, stem cell grafting is a takeoff on bioregenerative medicine. It's the most advanced uh, thing we have in bioregenerative medicine right now. It started with prolotherapy, then platelet-rich plasma, and now we're using stem cells, uh, the body's own stem cells, to be able to repair orthopedic problems uh, such as arthritis and tendon, ligament, and muscle problems in the body. Now, when people hear that word stem cells, they, they get scared, they're scared off by it. Sure. What is the difference here in what you're doing? The difference what we're doing is we're using the body's own stem cells. In fact, whenever you hurt yourself, uh, the body uh, has a biological signal that it puts out there and the stem cells in your own body are attracted to the area to heal it. Un unfortunately, sometimes these stem cells aren't enough to uh, cure that problem and then you're left with a chronic pain uh, situation. So what we do is we can harvest the stem cells uh, that you have in your body, concentrate them, and put them where the injury is to, to fix the problem. So who, who, are the, who are the best candidates for this therapy? Well, we use it in orthopedics. I mean, they're using it all over the United States with other things, with uh, cardiac problems and things like that. But we're using it for people with arthritis, people that have torn uh, cartilage, like in the meniscus and the knee, people that have injured tendons, or they have tears in the capsules and cartilage around their joints, and people uh, that may have like a, a, a bone infarct, uh, like a, a septic necrosis or mm -hmm. an osteochondral defect, which is like a, a divot out of the bone. Right. So somebody that has, for example, a an ACL tear or a medial meniscus ligament tear, are those the people that are candidates? Absolutely. If it's not a through and through complete tear that is totally ruptured away, where the where the the, uh, the ends are not close to each other, then we can use the stem cells and, and graft them to the area where the injury is to help repair it. How does it work? Well, what we do is we take the stem cells uh, usually uh, out of the hip area and then we concentrate it down. Mm -hmm. And we have some pictures coming up. Okay. Maybe you can just talk us through sure. this because I think this is probably, okay, okay. Go, go ahead. What are you All doing right. here? All right, what we're doing here right now is we're localizing the area around the hip uh, mm -hmm. in the lower back and we're taking a needle and, and putting it into the, um, the iliac crest area. All right, so you're doing a bone marrow aspiration here. Yes, okay. similar to what the hematologist might do. But it's very accurate and mm -hmm. safe because we're using x-ray guidance. Okay. All right, here's my staff member that's uh, heparinizing the uh, syringes so that the blood doesn't clot. Okay. And as and we go through the pictures here, yeah. okay, you're and doing? And right now I'm taking a trocar, uh, which is a hollow needle, and placing it into the iliac crest, and it's a very the hip bone, the, the hip, hip bone. bone. Yeah, okay. it's a, it's a painless procedure because uh, I anesthetize it very well. A person's right. awake and talking during the whole thing. All right. If it was me, I'd be jumping off the table, but that's besides the point. Believe it or not, you don't, <laughs> you don't really feel it. Okay, and here. And also part of the same thing. That's what the trocar looks like. It, it's basically and a trocar a is needle. the device that you put in to suck out the yeah. bone marrow. Yeah. Okay. And then we're taking out the what they call a stylet. Mm -hmm. So now we have a hollow needle there mm -hmm. inside the hip bone. Inside All the right. hip bone. And if you can see a close-up on that, there's a syringe on the end of that, and we're just basically uh, aspirating or sucking out uh, the bone marrow out of the bone. And again, mm -hmm. it's it's a very painless procedure. All right. And, and there's a close-up close of, of it. Okay. And going through here. Going through it again, and it's just me uh, just doing the same up there. thing. Yeah. Okay. And very then interesting. I, uh -huh. Then I take the syringe, I pass it off to my uh, my medical tech. Uh -huh. We put it into a sterile bag. And right now it's going to be going through a process where we separate the stem cells out of the regular bone marrow. So instead of using, we take maybe like uh, 60 cc's of, of uh, bone marrow, mm -hmm. we concentrate it down to only 10 cc's of stem cells and specialized uh, white blood cells. And this is done cells. right in your office, right? Done in, right in the right office in the and it's a closed situation. Here what we're doing is we're actually putting the stem cells into a person who's got a, a painful and arth arthritic ankle who actually had surgery on this ankle, didn't do well after surgery, uh -huh. and under, under x-ray guidance, we're putting the stem cells exactly where their injury is. Mm -hmm. And here you can see it, uh, that little thing on the right there is a screw that he had from surgery, but he has pain in other areas of the ankle, and the needles are in the upper left-hand mm -hmm. corner, 
where we put it right into the uh, joint. Right. So do you need multiple treatments? Is it one shot deal and you're done? Typically uh, it's a one shot deal. Then we feed the stem cells with something called platelet rich plasma. Mm -hmm. We do that maybe once every two months or so. And then we evaluate them down the line and maybe in six months they might need another treatment or not mm -hmm. uh, to get the desired results that they're looking for. And what percentage of people do well through this? I'd say we're looking about 85 to 95 percent of the people. We don't take everybody uh, you know, into, mm -hmm. into the program. So we look at an individual situation, see who's a good candidate, and if we think they're a good candidate, we'll give them a shot at it. Okay. Well, thank you for joining us. Sure. It's great to see you again. You too. We've That's known each great. other for many years, so it's wonderful to have you it's here. It's about 18 years now. Yes, yeah. exactly. Yeah, Thanks too. again. Thanks a thank lot, Dr. You so very much. Thanks for having me here. It's a pleasure. Still to come, it kills more, more people than auto accidents and breast cancer combined. Find out what's being done to keep people safe from hospital infections. But first, here's a look at this week's Community Health Calendar.